So this is the John Deere Z315E residential mower. The data manufacturing is somewhere down here for 2023. Hope you can see that. I purchased this at Lowe's for just under 3500 so it was 3400 and change. The deck is not as strong as you will see on the commercial one. You can't step on this. If you step on this, it will get damaged. Uh, so you have to go to the front to get on the, the mower. Um, so because I purchased it from Lowe's, I'll show you right here. They delivered it to the house. And when I was looking at it later on, I, I have these marks here. This did not come from me. So that's what it comes with. You got these scuff marks here. Um, that was pretty much it. Um, the tires were extremely flat. There was no, no air in it at all. You know, uh, the, fr the back tire and the front tire. Before I purchased this, I did a good amount of research online. I could not find any anyone with videos uh, showing this specific version they there's videos of the three three five series all the other ones above this so i either no one's buying this because it's trash <laughs> or uh the people who are buying it are not making any videos of it for some whatever reason i just hope that people are buying it and they're not making videos of it and it's a really good uh zero turn more so when I was doing research on the previous version, uh, one of the issues that these things uh, had was uh, about these dollies right here. Uh, the previous ones, they would seize up and they would cause a lot of issue. Um, but I noticed that when I purchased this one, the new version, you can see that they greased it up really, really well. So. I was pretty happy that they made the change in this version to uh, make sure it's all greased up compared to the previous version. Uh, this is very easy to lift up and as you can see this is what the uh, mower deck looks like. Um, I, When I was looking at this before I made the video, oh, okay. All right, let me try to fix this. All right, that was weird, but just wasn't aligned right. Um, yeah, so if you look and if you look in here somewhere, there is a grease fitting, so you can uh, grease this up. Make sure it's properly lubricated. I'm pretty sure there's one on the other side as well. Here's the seat. Uh, the previous version of these seats, they, uh, I don't know why there's a five here. This is Lowe's putting this on here. Anyways, uh, so this is the, the seat. Uh, they have a hole in here. So when water comes, if you're leaving this outside, it could drain out, which is pretty good. So it doesn't uh, go bad. And if you lift up the seat, this is what it looks like. Uh, when you get it from uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever you get it from, there's not going to be gas and you have to put gas in this thing. Uh, this is the battery. This is pretty standard. I am going to uh, add uh, battery tender in here so I can try to keep this battery. And this is a six month, six month warranty. Ain't that something? Uh, this is your service interval. It's all here. I mean, you don't even have to get a book. Uh, 50 hours, 100 hours, 200 hours kind of tells you what to do, what to look for. Okay, and you have your your belt. How to get the belt thing done. Uh, yeah, so this is what's under the seat. I know the previous version, they had like old plastic here to cover everything up. And I guess that was the issue. And they have fixed that with this version. And this is the, the seat adjustment. You don't really have a lot of options here. Okay, this is it. 
This is the bottom of the seat. And you have your little spring cushion here. All right, but that's all you get. And you have your little cup holder. This is your gas thingy. Uh, this is the engine. It says John Deere in it. It's 20 horsepower, 656 cc's. Uh, this is not a John Deere engine. This is the Briggs & Stratton. It actually says it's somewhere down there, if you take a look. Uh, this is where your filter is. Here you go. This is your air filter. It's on top. Looks fairly simple to move and easy to take out. Easy to put back. Alright, and this is where you put stuff, whatever. They didn't give you a cover. You gotta buy it separately. And you have your... This is your choke and I guess um, power interval, whatever it comes all it comes in one. Uh, this is your key, light, uh, battery, and start, right? And it has 0.2 hours. Uh, like I said, I bought this brand new. It has zero hours. Uh, the first time I drove it, I drove it around, around here. Ooh. So yeah, this this is this is it. Uh, what else? What else? You have your your deck uh, levels here to check the height. This is how you turn on your blades, uh, and then this is your assistant. I'll sit on it. When are you gonna do your deck height? Push this in here, and then you make your adjustments. Whatever level you want, it goes all the way down to one two five and then you let it go and it goes all the way down so one two five and while you're riding if you want to lift it up because you don't want to hit something you just push it up while you're moving and then you bring it back down uh, this is your your blades your more blades metal casing um, for the transmission uh, it does not look serviceable but I'm sure if it needs repairs you can take it apart okay yeah so this is it this is the John Deere zero turn Z 315e residential mower So we are going to mow this area here. Alright. See how it goes.
right guys so I'm I am finished here um, you probably see in the video where I was adjusting the height of uh, of the deck here because I wasn't really sure so I was switching from like three to two and I went all the way down to one so I'm cutting it down pretty low uh, because the first more of the season and I typically do that and I have a lot of a lot of weeds and and moss all over my yard look at this this is not grass this is this is moss see that right there this is grass it's hard to pull but this is moss so I have a lot of that um, last fall I I did not uh, treat this my backyard so it, it is a mess uh, which is why i ended up getting this zero turn more because i realized i just don't have the time with two kids and trying to be out here mowing and um with the push more that i have self so so, oh. i don't know if you can see him but that is an owl right here Anyways, so yeah, um, yeah, thanks. Yeah, so that is why, and I needed a mower this big, and just to cut down my time with mowing and whatnot. Uh, but this is the first time I'm using it, so I uh, wasn't really good, and um, there were some points where I felt like I needed a seatbelt uh, because this thing is fast. You know, I was looking online before and I believe this thing goes like seven miles an hour or something like that. It, this thing does not feel like it was seven miles an hour. It, goes, it, goes, it feels like it goes faster. And actually, um, I believe this is where I was riding it. I could not ride it on full push. It just, it was too fast for me. So I'm riding on the, on the low settings for now. Um, but yeah, so it was pretty good. I mean, there are some spots and uh and uh video time lapse that i did i was not doing zero turns i was uh, because i know that i have really bad grass or i have a lot of moss so i'm trying to avoid stuff like this so i was not doing zero turn i was backing up and going forward backing up going forward to avoid to avoid you know messing up the lawn um, but um, yeah, so um, another thing that happened, it is pretty bumpy, you know, it could be because of my backyard. I have so many trees and there's roots all over. It's pretty bumpy and, you know, there were some points where, like I said, I felt like I needed a seatbelt because I, I was jumping out of my seat, which is kind of why I slowed down on the speed. But when up in the front of the, uh, of the house, it was pretty smooth, you know. But yeah, so this was a good first try um, this is the first time I'm actually mowing with it and I do like the feature where while I'm mowing I can actually I can actually put my foot in there and lift up the deck so I don't hit any tree branches because I realized I was hitting them uh, you can see the blades was already uh, <laughs> going through trying to eat this up so uh, yeah I have to be more conscious of that All right everyone thanks for tuning in if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Till next time.